Hi, thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk Forex with Alison and Chris. So this week, we're talking about whether you can use ChatGPT to help you with your trading. It's a really good episode, and I think it'll give you some good insight into the world of trading with AI, but it'll also give you insights into its limitations. Also, last week, we published our annual Forex Broker Awards. You can view them on our YouTube channel and on our website, ethicscouts.com. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the episode. Hey, Alison. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Yeah, not bad, thanks. Not bad at all. Um, Before we jump into this week's episode, I just wanted to uh, respond to uh, an email that we got from um, a listener, uh, Nebu. Thank you so much for your message coming in. He was asking about uh, copy trading um, and what are the important things to consider before um, trying to copy trade and what to look for in uh, in a trader um, who you want to copy. And... Nebu, if you go back and listen on the 17th of January, we, uh, we posted a podcast. It's all about copy trading. Uh, so go, uh, go back and listen to that. Um, and if you still have any questions, feel free to write to us again. But I think, uh, I think we cover most of your questions in that one. And if anybody else has any questions, please do send them through to us. We're happy to, happy to respond. Um, so with that out of the way, Alison, uh, let's <laughs> jump into uh, this week's episode. We're talking about chat GPT. And yeah. what it can do for you. Yeah. 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 Um, so in case you've been living under a rock the last couple of years, Chat GPT is an AI natural language processing tool that essentially gathers data from the internet. Um, and then it answers your questions using a computing algorithm. So basically it's a very sophisticated robot and, um, yeah, and we've had quite a lot of fun sort of uh, playing with it uh, over the last couple of weeks sort of in preparation for this podcast um, and just, uh, you know, trying it out for our own purposes. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it was, it's, uh, as you say, it's a very sophisticated robot. Um, it was developed by a company called OpenAI. Um, and as of the end of 2023, November 2023, when we're recording this, its basic version is still free to use. Uh, the premium version, uh, ChatGPT Plus, is available at 20 bucks a month. And the main difference is that ChatGPT Plus uh, responds faster and it's more accurate, it's more precise than the free version. Yeah, exactly. And in technical terms, uh, ChatGPT uses natural language processing, or NLP, to, and it sources data from websites, uh, textbooks, and it finds sort of many other sources and and, um, and stores the data in its system. Um, and then the AI application sort of generates human-like responses to any questions you may think of. So sort of just a brief overview of what it does in case you in case you haven't used it yet. Um, yeah, and it's it's really easy to use. It's good user friendly interface. It can be used anyone from any device. It doesn't have a mobile app, but uh, it'll still work in your web browser on your mobile yeah. phone. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, yeah, really, really nice and easy. Uh, yeah, and once you've set it up, then um, you can use, you can ask sort of six to 800 questions in an hour. Um, mm-hmm. But the number of questions you can ask basically changes depending on your plan and then also how many people are using it. Um, mm-hmm. So, as we used it this morning uh, on the ChatGPT Plus plan, we were limited to 40 questions every three hours. Um, but yeah, you can you can literally ask it any question you like, and uh, it will at least attempt to answer it. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> it's just an attempt. Um, so yeah, how wh- how is it useful in trading? Well, um, it can do a few things for traders. Um, it can keep you up to date with market news. It can help you analyze market events. That's pretty basic stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, and it can also help with charting and technical analysis, but not not in a very sophisticated way. More importantly, I think, um, as we'll get to, it can help uh, putting together a trading strategy. And um, and finally, and I think this is probably the um, what it's used for the most by traders, mm. uh, it can code automated trading strategies for any trading platform that you use. Yeah, exactly. But you shouldn't expect to make money in trading using ChatGPT without a backtested trading strategy. Um, and what we've what we found that traders say is that ChatGPT can actually generate false trading signals. Um, Mm -hmm. 
So if you have no trading plan or you have no clue about how to trade, please don't go on ChatGPT suggestions. Yeah, exactly. Always backtest everything. Yeah. So, but first, let's have a look how it can help um, analyzing market news, and market events. Um, so, the most basic uh, way of using it is if you just want to find the most up to date news and fundamental analysis, fundamental analysis for an asset, you can just uh, ask ChatGPT for the news. Let's say on the Euro USD, and that's so. I, did, I ran this query this morning before we uh, before we started this recording. And I saw ChatGPT, it bounces to Bing, and it visited a well-known Forex news site, and then just gave me a summary of their latest analysis. Uh, this took about a minute or so for it to do. And and so I would argue that it's you're probably better served by just visiting the site in question and reading their analysis firsthand. You know, it's, it's a pretty basic way to use ChatGPT. But, uh, you know, if, as you say, you know, you can just visit the sites, uh, sites mm-hmm. themselves. But what if you want to know more than that? So one of the best methods to use ChatGPT is to use it so that it can interpret financial news and then pass complicated contexts. Um, mm-hmm. So, in fact, uh, according to a study that was done by Alejandro Lopez Lira, a finance professor at the University of Florida, um, ChatGPT can predict stock price movements based on news headlines. Um, so this is very in- interesting research that was conducted. Um, so L- Lopez tested over 50,000 headlines from a third-party data source about public stocks on leading U.S. stock exchanges. And then Lopez told ChatGPT to analyze the news of each stock and pretend to be a financial in- expert. And the bot answered yes if the u- news was good, no if the news was bad, and unknown if there was uncertainty. So it was a pretty, pretty simple way to use it, but but still, it was was able to analyze the stuff uh, quite accurately from that perspective. Yeah, exactly. You can find that it can it can predict uh, stock price price direction pretty accurately uh, on the next trading day i will put a link to the article in there just so people can read about it and and we you know i fully expect that um more and more traders are going to use this kind use it for this kind of stuff going forward the problem here is that a the responses are quite simplistic as you said Alison. like what is it yes no and unknown mm-hmm. I think. and uh secondly that um you know that th- you have to build the in order to feed it fifty thousand news headlines, you're going to have to build that kind of system yourself. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But uh, another example that that it has been used for sort of more successfully is to decode speeches from central banks um, and mm-hmm. politicians. And in fact, recent reports show that ChatGPT can transform articles, social media posts, speeches, and tweets into trading signals. So, for example, say the Federal Reserve Chairman, uh, Jay Powell, speaks about the U.S. economy and the next rate decision hike, uh, ChatGPT could interpret the text and then determine whether the announcement has a has been hawkish or dovish, for example. Um, and they found that it can be used to analyze economic data announcements like the GDP, unemployment rate, CPI, and the NFP. So I think it's probably uh, evolving. Um mm-hmm. But, yeah, the fact that it can sort of decipher what's going on, um, you know, with these types of speeches is quite quite interesting. Um, it's not sort of basing on – well, obviously it's basing on past data, but it's also it, – it's able to then uh, predict that into the future, um, which mm. is something we do as traders as well. So Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, it is good. And then, uh, you know, this is probably more useful for beginners, I think, who don't understand the – the um the possible outcomes of these economic yeah. these market events so yeah but uh, but uh but it's still yeah super handy um if you don't understand necessarily all the all the complexities of you know why uh jay powell you know is is you know thinking about raising interest rates again um then you can put it into chat gpt and have it break it down for you yeah you know it's fantastic it's pretty yeah. cool um but look it's not super revolutionary this i mean a lot of trading firms have been using this kind of ai uh, software for years now um mm. but the fact that it's available to everybody is is great market buzz is one of those you know it aggregates sort mm-hmm. of news news uh news sources um yep but uh yeah chat gpt can also help with basic technical analysis on the charts which is something we were also quite interested in so it was last updated with new information in april 2023 
which means that you have to take a screenshot of your chart, um, obviously put it into the chat GPT and ask it to analyze the chart itself. Um, and what we found is it gives you some basic technical analysis. It gives you sort of you know information on on what type of trend there is, if there is one, if there's momentum, what type of uh, what key levels are are um, there in terms of support and resistance. It talks about price patterns, um, volume, uh, even a, a bit of candlestick analysis. But you know because it was uh, only updated in April 2023. You know as I said, you're going to have to up. Uh, you you can't just uh, sort of send it a link and say you know analyze a, a current chart. I can't do that. So so um, yeah. Or if you Chris, then it'll say no. It can't do it even if you put the chart in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. I tried this earlier with ChatGPT and it told me that it couldn't view or interpret images, including charts, uh, which is which is not true. Um, no, but it did not. They were doing yours, so I had to reboot. I could really close that window and reload it, and then it and then it decided they could all of a sudden analyze charts. So yeah, there's gremlins in the system, obviously, but um, but yeah, this is it's it's a useful thing. This chart analysis again, it's not hugely groundbreaking. You know, it's um, uh, it's not going to give you um, supreme technical analysis, but again, for beginners, I think it's probably a good way of of you know learning about technical analysis mm. and charts. Yeah, absolutely. And then I guess the next next point is how do you build a trading strategy with chat DPT or was it even possible? Um, mm. And the answer is yes and no, at least for now. Right now, chat GPT is not really going to tell you what asset you should trade. It's not going to tell you what time you should trade and it's not going to tell you how to get in and out of positions. Well, if it does, please just be very wary of taking that advice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because despite all the fake videos online, I mean, I've, I've watched a number now where people say that they, ChatGPT can make you millions. You cannot ask ChatGPT to find a trading strategy that's going to turn, um, you know, whatever investment into 10 times that amount. It just doesn't work that way. Um, and I think it's probably for the best. But what it can do is come up with a basic general strategy that makes sense. Um, but that needs tweaking and that needs, you know, a lot of sort of input and thought from yourself in terms of your risk, risk appetite, in terms of how much capital you have to trade and, and so on. So today I asked it, describe a good trading strategy that a Forex day trader might use that takes two hours a day. Um, so it, it suggested a short time frame, the 15 minutes or one hour candlestick charts. It then suggested all the usual aspects, uh, usual suspects in terms of trading indicators and tools. So it talked about moving averages, of course, relative strength index to identify overbought and oversold conditions, support and resistance levels, um, and then stochastics uh, also for additional confirmation of overbought and oversold conditions. And then I provided the day step-by-step uh, -step day trading strategy. So it talked about pre-market analysis, which is spending, you know, your the first part of your trading session preparing for the day, then identifying key levels, which you'd you'd sort of naturally do as a trader, then looking at something like the MACD, um, and then it explains how to use that using RSI, how to use stochastics. Um, and then it went into determining your risk tolerance and setting uh, stop loss orders, not in any great detail, but just something, uh, you know, quite sort of general. And then it talks about executing your trades when all your conditions are met and your entry signals confirmed. So, so in a way, I'm, I'm glad it doesn't give you too much um, sort of specific advice. You know, it gives you quite general advice um, and quite good advice if, if you're a beginner trader. And then again, it talks about monitoring your trades, then reviewing and analyzing your trades afterwards, and then repeating the process um, with new information, of course, to improve your trading. So I guess in, in general, you know, what I can say about chat, chat GPT's sort of um, – trading strategy is is that it's not rocket science it's it's pretty basic it's it's something you can probably read you know if you again like you said chris if you can you can sort of find it on many sites this type of information but it's helpful and i would say as a beginner trader it could create a basic outline of a strategy that you could possibly refine and use so that's sort of my yeah. take on on what it does from a from a um strategy point of view and of course i think if you get more specific with your inputs you could probably get more specific output um so that's something to also look at yeah and at the very least like it's a good uh, kind of checklist if you've never put together a strategy before yes um of what you need to look at yeah no it's uh, it's pretty useful again more useful for beginner traders i think more experienced traders will probably um probably will know how to 
how to put together the strategy. And we're looking more, as you said, like how to tweak it, how to refine the strategy, mm. which would require more complex uh, inputs, I think, before uh, ChatGPT could help you. One thing I, I noticed, I mean, it obviously talks about risk management here, but it doesn't go into uh, trading psychology, which is, I think, what more experienced traders are grappling with, you know? Yeah. Um, no, of course. How to gracefully take losses. <laughs> yeah, chat GPT can't help you with that. <laughs> Negative <can't> emotions, <laughs> like we spoke about. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, it's not going to help you there. No. Um, but yeah, the but the main thing I think chat GPT is used for um, by most traders is for algo trading, automated trading. It's very good at coding. Famously, chat GPT is excellent at coding. And this means um, it can can also code trading algos uh, for pretty much any trading platform. Now, you've got to remember before you ask ChatGP to, to, to code something for you, yeah, you're going to have to develop your own strategy first. You need to know what you want it to code. It, you know, it's not going to create a profitable trading strategy for you. But once you have your trading strategy and you know what parameters you need, you can ask ChatGPT you can, to create you a code within those parameters for any trading platform. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, and it's, it's fantastic for this. It really is. And I, um, I'm, I've been very impressed by what I've seen. Yes, I, I must say I've, I've also been quite impressed. And, and interestingly, it, uh, ChatGPT can um, code in, in a number of languages. So mm-hmm. obviously you've got uh, MT4 and MT5, which M, with MQL4 and MQL5 um, coding languages. And then tra- obviously TradingView has PineScript and CTrader has uh, C-sharp um, programming language and what we found is that it, it really does the coding quite well in those specific languages um, which has been quite impressive yeah exactly it can do in whatever you just need to know your what um, what language your um, your code is going to be written in uh, before or your, what your trading platform runs on before you go into this but once um, you know once you know whether it's C sharp or, or you know a pine script or whatever you can go and get chat GPT to do it but really important here and something we said at the top always back test whatever it produces. ChatGPT yeah. does make mistakes. Um, it's not always very good with numbers, uh, particularly. It's generally very good with code, but there may be errors. Um, and you also need to make sure that what you've built, what ChatGPT has built, is matched up with what you had in your in your mind. Um, so, yeah, always, always backtest anything that comes up with ChatGPT before you put it live. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I guess I could say our verdict on whether it's possible to trade with ChatGPT is is pretty mixed. Um and despite the sort of hype and claims made by analysts and experts and YouTubers, ChatGPT is not a revolutionary trading tool that can make you rich or successful. Um, you know, it, it can be a handy tool, especially if you're not a programmer, as you as you said now, Chris. But you must have a solid trading strategy that has been tested and delivered successful results. Um, and maybe then ChatGPT can sort of give you further insights, or you know as you say, creates a checklist that you can go over to make sure that you've sort of ticked all the boxes that you possibly can. But it's it's certainly not going to do it for you. Uh, you've yeah. got to have a good head on your shoulders about, you know, where its limitations are. Exactly. Yeah, so look, it's good for, um, you know, it can analyze headlines, you know, it can help you find Forex news, it can help you with charting, and, you know, it can even create a trading strip uh, trading scripts for you, you know what I mean, to make algos. Mm. But don't expect it, as you say, to make to be a magic tool that's going to make you rich. Most of what it does is very good for beginners, and the things it does for traders who know what they're doing, it's it's quite niche. Um, and um, and I think it's probably going to stay that way for some time. Yeah, it's not yet intelligent enough to replace like a financial advisor or make informed trading decisions. No. Um, yeah, I mean, unless you come up with an outstanding idea and be the first to crack the financial markets using using chat gpt <laughs> but if yeah. that happens yeah i mean please tell us how you did it yeah exactly everything everybody would like to know yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the, I think that sums it up for the holy grail way exactly mm-hmm. i mean mm-hmm. watch you watch five ten years maybe maybe someone will <laughs> somebody's gonna and then, crack it yeah and then the chaos the chaos that ensues in the markets <laughs> but um until that moment uh, we'll leave it there with ChatGPT. What are we talking about next week, Alison? Um, so we are talking about, a, we're going to do a recap of the markets. We're going to do um, current market news, oh, yeah. a recap of the market, and sort of a, a look back. I, I think particularly at the, the dollar index, 
what's happened with the dollar, whether it's the end of the bull run. I yeah, it's no, I think it probably is. It yeah. affects a lot of a lot of different markets, so it's something we we might focus on a bit. But we'll see what happens next week. Maybe a new war will break out. Who knows? Oh gosh, don't say that. Or COVID. I mean, knock on wood. Knock COVID on wood quickly. <laughs> <laughs> All the fun stuff. All the fun stuff, Alison. You're full of fun stuff. <laughs> um, that's all right. Yeah. Uh, well, ho- let's hope there's none of that happens in the next week, and um, and we'll just be talking about. We'll just be looking back uh, the last few months yeah. and seeing if we can figure out what's happening in the future. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. Uh, until then, Alison, have uh, have a great week ahead. Yeah, you too. Thanks, Chris. <laughs>